Dr. Foster's actress Jodie Comer proves to be exciting new talent. Meek and mild other woman Kate finally came out of the shadows to enact her own revenge in sensational style. As the drama unfolded in Parminster, sassy young actress Jodie Comer proved herself to be one of the most exciting new talents to hit the small screen. Viewers were on the edge of their seats as her character Kate finally twigged that her cheating husband Simon, played by Bertie Carvel, was the wrong on not GP Gemma Foster, Saran Jones. Kate got her revenge by turfing him out of their posh home and removing him from his business in dramatic fashion before speeding off in his car. And Jodie admits she is thrilled to be part of one of the most talked about series on TV. It was amazing, she says. When you do a drama like this you have your fingers crossed the public will like it. It's so nice to be a part of something people really get into. Talent, Jodie Comer proves to be one of the most exciting new talents to hit the small screen. Explosive, Kate, Jodie. Faces up to cheating Simon, Bertie Carvel, in Dr. Foster. Jodie Comer but who is the glamorous Liverpudlian actress and where have we seen her before? The 24-year-old got her big break aged just 13 when she wrote a monologue for the Liverpool Drama Festival on the Hillsborough disaster. It led to a part in a BBC Radio 4 play being recorded in the city and scooped her an agent. After following the well-trod footsteps of many TV stars and appearing in Casualty, Holby City and Doctors, her first big break was in E4's BAFTA-nominated comedy My Mad Fat Diary. It followed the story of 16-year-old and 16-street teenager Ray Earl, who struggles with body image and mental health issues. Jody played her pretty and popular best friend Chloe, who it seems shares just the same insecurities. She then took on the main role as kidnap victim Ivy Moksam in BBC Three's gritty miniseries 13, which became her standout role. I so wanted and needed a role like that, says Jodie. She researched Ivy by reading about the real-life case of Natasha Kompas. The Austrian woman kidnapped at the age of 10 who only managed to escape eight years later. In 13, Ivy is a young girl who was kept in captivity in a basement for 13 years before escaping and returning to her parents. And the story portrays the struggle to settle back into normal life as the mysteries surrounding her time with her captor are revealed. I kind of realize that I could never fully fathom what this girl has gone through, Jodie admits. But the, Compass, book gave me more of an idea of the living conditions she'd been in, the abuse that she went through. How she counted time and all these little details you never think about. Confrontation, Jodie facing up to Dr. Foster, Saran Jones. Jodie who still lives with her masseuse father and Liverpool Transport Company employee mother also had the title role in BBC's The White Princess, playing Elizabeth of York. I'd always wanted to do costume drama, but period dramas often become very wooden. 
just because they're born in the 1400s all of a sudden people start losing their sense of humor or their personalities. I did a little bit of research, but there's just not an awful lot written about the women of that time, so I use that to my advantage. She's got a lot of sass. When she starts the series, she's so young and she's very wise. She was in love with Richard and she's been forced into this marriage, and she doesn't shy away from letting these people, the Tudors, know that without her, this can't happen. They need her. They need the Yorks. She's a mass of importance to them. She's got a great strength and a real sensitivity. Jodie also had parts in BBC's Lady Chatterley's Lover in 2015 as Ivy Bolton and 2016's crime drama Rillington Place as Beryl Evans, one of the victims of serial killer John Christie. It's the first role I've had where I felt a huge responsibility because I know these families still have to deal with what happened to loved ones, says Jody. It wasn't that long ago, and then having to open up to producers and directors and relive it all again. Beryl's niece came to set one day. I wasn't there unfortunately so I couldn't meet her, but I wouldn't have known what questions to ask anyway. Spotted, Jodie on the set for BBC America series Killing Eve. It's such a delicate situation. And more recently Jodie has been spotted filming scenes in Paris for BBC America series Killing Eve, which will air next year. So what are her ambitions for future roles after the spectacular fandom of Dr. Foster? She reveals, I honestly couldn't put my finger on something specific, but what is so important for me after I finish this job is to do a complete 360 and tackle something different. I'd love to do something where I have to completely transform. Or something that is very physical and would test me with discipline in that way. Something that I'd maybe have to train for. Standout role, Jodie took on main role as kidnap victim Ivy Moksam in 13. And she is delighted to be championing more strong female lead roles on television. She says, I think despite all the negative aspects, I do feel very lucky to be growing up in a time where it's the topic of conversation. I feel lucky to hopefully contribute in some way and be a part of that. I think we are very in tune with our emotions, and I think watching that on screen is so complex and lovely. More women. Always. The final episode of Dr. Foster airs next Tuesday at 9pm on BBC One.